Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Legacy Saturday. My name is Sarah Chukuma. Hello, we are going to be talking about Mr. and Mrs. Sadeleke, the recent Mr. and Mrs. Sadeleke, the recent popular celebrity couple. And who are we talking about? Choma and Davido Adeleke. Yes, you heard me right. They are both currently married, according to Gis Lover. Yes, the news has it that Choma and Davido got married this November shortly after the death of their son, Efani Adeleke. So what happened? How did this happen and where did it happen? Of course, the Fujis is here. Okay, the marriage happened in Efani grandfather's house. That is Davido's father's house in Lagos. And what led to that? The gist and news have it that they're supposed to get married by next year. But because of the recent event that left everybody so, so overwhelmed and heartbroken, especially the mother of the child, Choma Roland. So, the gist have it that she, she was so heartbroken and felt alone and felt like nothing is also, nothing is left again for her in the relationship between her and Davido. But in order to complete the assurance that they have been promising us since 20 Borogodo, in order to fulfill that assurance and to let her know that with or without a child, that she has a special place in the video's heart. So they fasting, they hasting, they they did everything. They brought the date down from 2023 to November, a few days after the son died. So recently, we have Mr. and Mrs. Adeleke, no longer Choma Roland. It's now Choma Adeleke. Like, can we give? <laughs> I'm so happy when I heard the news, and the news is from a reliable source. We all know this lover that whenever he brings out a news that is always genuine, is always a verified news. Yes. So the recent thing now is Choma is no longer Choma Roland. Choma Adeleke. Choma's bride price, which was paid in the widow's house in Lagos, was done a few days after the death of their son in order to give us to complete that assurance that been promising us. So I'm happy that that assurance is finally here. And again, that before the death of the son, that their house, particularly Choma's room, was burnt down by unknown person, unknown reason. Nobody knows who set up the fire. Nobody knows how the fire came to be. So that means, in summary, that her life is being threatened by unknown enemy or enemies surrounding them in the name of friends. So before the death of her son, that her life has been threatened by her room burning down in the main building. Nobody knows how the fire started, where the fire started, who put up the fire. So this is the risk factor of traveling, to Imo State and being that her life is under threat by so many known and unknown enemies and the situation of things, she's still mourning her son and heartbroken. They couldn't travel to do the normal bride prize in the father's land because we know that when it comes to traditional marriage, traditional engagement that is normally done in the father's place, in the father's village. So the whole thing was done here in Lagos. Now the issue should be Bright price that is being paid in a foreign land, not just in a foreign land, but also, I mean the legal issue, but also in the man's house. Do you think it's valid? Do you think it's valid? You know, customary law is a law that is not well codified, unlike statutory law marriage, that everything is codified, that everything you do has step by step, and the consequences and repercussion of the one you omitted or the one you did. Okay, but when it comes to customary law, it's not coded and it's something is it, dynamic, it changes. Back in the days, the normal thing to do is when you want to marry a woman, you go to their father's land, not even where the father is living in the township. You go to their father's land, and the, the man, the uh, bride, and the groom will be present. But these days, somebody will be in America, the bride and groom will be in America, and their father, their family, their families will go and do something on persons, go and pay bride price and carry on traditional marriage in the absence of those people. So now, let's just say that it's a valid marriage that her bride price is being paid in the widow's house, instead of her father's house in Lagos, or in her father's land in Imo State. Let's just say that it's valid due to the circumstances of the marriage, the circumstances of the circumstances 
of the marriage death of the son heartbroken security of her life and all those things that is it about what you need to know about today's trending gist lego solution and the lego affiliation lego connection is about the customer law marriage being done in the video search of Chama's house whether it's valid or not valid just like i told you customer law marriage is dynamic and it's not codified there is no particular thing that will say if you not do it this way you are sanctioned if you not do it this way your marriage is invalid or if you not do it this way your marriage is valid or whatever 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 so in this case i think they are exempted the marriage is valid and good luck to them and now she now has upper hand ahead Sophia and other baby mamas because she is Mrs. Adelike. So we are happy for them. Share this video to someone that needs to hear the cheese and like this video if you give it a thumbs up if you like it. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.